Well, hello everybody. I want to do a follow-up to the uh, video that I did recently about trikes, bikes, balance, and age. I had a um, viewer uh, mention uh, an excellent point, an ex absolutely outstanding point that uh, I neglected to take into account when I gave that presentation last time around. I think it was a week or two ago. And so I wanted to talk about that now. Um, basically in that video, in a nutshell, I talked about why I was transitioning uh, from um, riding tricycles to bicycles uh, based on that I wanted to maintain uh, my, my state of balance and not lose that from sitting in a, in a trike that required no balance all the time. Well, okay, so this reader, uh, well, the viewer to, the, to that video mentioned that uh, all it takes is one spill, one fall on a bicycle, and you can really uh, wreck your life. Um, and boy, it, was, it just like hit me. It's like, wow, you know, that's a, that's a great point because I have thought about that very thing. You know, I mean, when you're riding thousands of miles on these cross-country trips like I've done and will continue to do uh, with my new uh, recumbent uh, a bike that's going to be parked right here eventually when I get it. Um, you get going pretty fast at times, and yes, it's very important. I've thought about that. Like, wow, okay. The nice thing about a trike is you you can you can crash on a trike, but you can't basically fall over easily like you can on a bicycle. Well, not easily, but you know you can't be knocked over. Okay, for the most part. So. And yes, I have thought about that because I do value my health and longevity and fitness and uh, I spend a lot of time keeping, my, keeping myself fit and I, I don't want to just go, you know, crash in the, you know, off the side of a road or something and, and really get messed up to where I can't walk or I get killed or something, you know. So, yeah, that's an excellent point and I want to address that right now in today's talk. And... <clears throat> You, you can't get around that. It's true. A bicycle has two wheels and you're balanced on those little two wheels. And so you're getting this, this big plus of balance that you, you know, uh, mean, uh, that you never get on a tricycle. You just flat don't get that on a tricycle at all, but you do on a bicycle. But f so what are you giving up? I mean, what are you risking? Well, you're risking falling over because you're just on these, these two tires instead of three tires, a tripod effect, like what the camera right now is sitting on when I'm talking to you. Tripod, it can't fall over. If I only had two legs on this tripod, it wouldn't stand up, it would fall over. So that's, that's the difference, okay? <clears throat> so there's a couple things uh, that I'm going to explain why still I'm going, I'm going to remain with bicycles at this point as far as, as riding them. Um, and two things. Uh, number one, <clears throat> tires are really important, okay? Obviously, if you get a flat, a catastrophic flat from a nail, and boom, you know, I mean, or a shard of glass or something in the road that just opens your tire up and you lose your air immediately on a bicycle, boom, you, yeah, it can, you can go down possibly with that. <clears throat> um, so the tire person chooses on a bicycle and on tricycles really <clears throat> is critically important. On my tricycles, um, for my long distance trip, not my fat tire bike, but on my regular tricycles, my low racer type tricycles that I've toured on, I use Schwalbe Marathon Plus tires. Okay, and that plus is a very important word because Schwalbe makes a number of tires and they make a marathon, <clears throat> but the Marathon Plus, P-L-U-S, you gotta make sure it says that if you're interested in this tire. Um, it has a, a, a super thick layer of some kind of a really dense rubber on the, the contact area to where you could run over, a, you know, like a, a tap or all, probably even a roofing nail and it's not gonna go all the way through to your tube. I have run Schwalbe Marathon Plus and started running those in 2009 when I first started taking these, these long distance uh, touring trips of a thousand miles, you know? 
because I, I did my research and they just basically, I mean, can they go flat? Yeah, you can, any tire can go flat, but these tires are superior to almost every other bicycle tire out there. In fact, um, I went over to the Cascade Mountains here in Oregon once and I <laughs> got caught up there in some blizzard and snowstorms in the middle of the night. It was really a bad situation. And, uh, you know, I was beginning to doubt <laughs> whether I was going to survive getting over that. And uh, <clears throat> I made it to a lodge, totally frozen. I mean, it was, it was a bad scene. <clears throat> you can read about it in one of my um, stories. But had I gotten a flat up there that night, it was like two, three in the morning. Uh, I couldn't, I could not have changed it because it was so cold. Uh, there's no dexterity left. <laughs> you can't take your hands out of gloves to change a tire. So even on a tricycle, tire choice is important. So I always ran Schwalbe Marathon Plus on my tricycles. One time on a trailer in 2009 that I pulled, I had a trike with three Schwalbe Marathon Pluses on the trike, and I had a trailer with Kinda uh, tires on it, uh, 20 inch. And I went through a bunch of goat heads and the, the uh, Schwalbe Marathon Plus tires. I had hundreds of these goat heads in my, in all five of my tires, you know, including the trailer. And the Schwalbe Marathon Plus never went flat, never. I mean, I ran them for a few more years and they never went flat. And a couple of years later, I was still picking those things out. I'd see one, you know, you, they, they just look like little white specks. You can't even tell sometimes. <clears throat> but the Kindus on my trailer back in 2009, boom, flat, flat. You know, I had to, I had to change one out. The other one I had to keep pumping up. So I learned on that trip, it was a perfect uh, learning experience because I took five tires through the exact same uh, goat head patch that was buried under fall leaves. I couldn't see them, okay? I was on the trike. There was a lot of weight on the trike. Um, Trolley Marathon Plus didn't go flat. The Kenda um, tires did go flat. So right there, okay, so on this new bicycle I'm getting, um, I have Schwalbe Marathon Plus tires have been put on. So I have the best tire money can buy. And yes, they're a little heavier. You know, I've heard people say, well, you don't want to. I've heard people, writers say they stay away from Schwalbe Marathon Plus on purpose because they have the extra weight, as if that makes any difference, really, unless you're a pro racer or something like that. You know, most people carry more body weight or overweight than, than they're going to see in a little bit of extra weight in a tire. And there's times when you literally can't change a tire because you don't have the dexterity, your, dexterity in your hands if you're in a survival situation. And I've been there, so I under, understand that uh, really well. So the new bike that will be here and I will share with you eventually <laughs> has um, already put on it Schwalbe Marathon Plus. And like I say, not Schwalbe Marathon, Schwalbe Marathon Plus. You gotta say the plus if you want these tires. They cost more, they're a little bit heavier, but they, they run for, you know, they last off practically forever and they, and they don't go flat. I've never had a flat on Schwalbe Marathon Plus. Other tires, like on my fat bike, uh, my fat trike, I've had flats on that because they weren't Schwalbe Marathon Plus. They were made by Schwalbe. They were called a Jumbo Jim, Schwalbe Jumbo Jim, big four inch tires. It didn't matter they were made by Schwalbe. I had three flats in one day and then, um, the day before that I had one flat. So I had four flats in a, in a matter of two days uh, and they are Schwalbe tires, but they weren't the Marathon Plus. So yes, you can't just say, well, it's a Schwalbe, so it's never gonna go flat. No, Schwalbe Marathon Plus. They just, I haven't had one go flat yet, and it's been 11 years. So uh, I highly recommend that. But anyway, what I'm getting at, back to this falling thing that the uh, viewer uh, wrote about, which really got me thinking, and it was a great point that he made. Um, so first of all, I get the best tires money can buy. So I'm not going to get a flat, most likely, from any road debris. And I've ridden through some horrendous road debris uh, in my years of touring. 
and I haven't had a flat yet. So I, I got those tires. Now, a, a second point is that on a shorter wheelbase bike, I've heard uh, where riders have uh, been surprised by a rock or something in the road, hit the brakes or whatever, and the front wheel hits it and the bike doesn't, it goes in, endo. We, I used to race motorcycles, it's called an endo. When you rear, you rear the bike, motorcycle comes flying over the front. Uh, end over end, okay, and this happens to bicyclists too at times uh, because most bikes <laughs> very short wheelbase, as you know. Look at any bicycle, okay. This bicycle I'm getting um, is uh, quite long. It's it's a long wheelbase recumbent, and it literally you can't do an endo on it because it's too long. It's it's over it's over seven feet long. I. I I don't remember, I think it's, gee whiz, 80 some inches long. It's very long. So it's very stable. It makes a great touring bike and it, it's not, it can't, it can't flip end over end like a regular uh, bicycle can. And I've, I've uh, read of and heard from several bicyclists that have done these endos. And uh, yeah, so that, that could really mess you up, okay? Um, and, and then the third point I wanna bring up is that I'm not really in a hurry anymore. You know, I used to race motorcycles and all that when I was younger, um, but not anymore. I'm not in a hurry. You know, if I go on a, on a cycling trip, I like taking my time. Now, um, going down mountain passes, you do get going uh, fairly fast. You can get going easily over 50 miles an hour going down a mountain pass. I haven't done that yet on this new bike because I don't have it yet. I haven't taken a trip on it yet. Um, so we'll see. Will I, will I keep the speed down a little more? Probably at first, I suppose. I don't know. Use a little braking on a trike. You know, you don't, uh, the only time I brake going down a mountain passes on a trike is if the curves got too tight at the speed, you know. But uh, yeah, it's, it's always possible. It's always possible that um, I, I could fall. That's, that's very true. There's, there's no getting around that. That's why I wanted to do this video and uh, talk about that point. But then there's a, there's a flip side too, besides those three things, you know, the Schwalbe Marathon Plus, the long wheelbase, and not being speeding around like a crazy man all the time, although I probably will get going pretty fast on downhills because it's fun. But the, the flip side, I mean, another uh, way to look at it is I know people, I had a, a great aunt. I, she was, I think she was 89, 90 years old. And, and she was spry and had a sharp mind and all this kind of stuff. And the phone rang one day and she her, was hurrying to answer it. She lost her balance going to get a telephone. Well, she fell, she broke a hip, and it seemed like it was two or three weeks later that she actually died. You know, pneumonia or whatever happens, you know, when you, I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, but, but uh, she died as a result of complications from her fall because of her balance. She had decent balance, you know, she lived by herself and out in the Mojave Desert in Southern California. Uh, she didn't have any trouble uh, walking around and stuff, but she got in a hurry answering the phone. And you, you, you hear this, I've, I, my own mother, who is in her 92nd year of life currently, uh, she's fallen numerous times, uh, just walking around in her own house. Um, it's, and that's what happens when you lose, when you, when you don't step, keep your muscle musculature of your body strong and you don't keep your balance sharp, you start falling when you get older. Uh, I've seen it a lot. I've seen it in family, friends, I've seen it in uh, people, you know. Um, it's, it's quite common. You know what I'm talking about, people fall. Why do people have walkers? People have walkers because they can't walk anymore. Why can't they walk anymore? Because their balance is shot and their muscles are weak. Most of the time that's because of 
of being sedentary, being on a couch a lot, not exercising. You, you have to have two things. You have to keep the muscles of your body strong because your muscles are the only thing that holds your body up. That's it. If you theoretically just removed all your muscles, if all my muscles of my body right now were removed, what would happen? I would fall immediately on the floor. I could still talk, but I couldn't move. Well, I, actually, I probably couldn't talk because there's muscles here in your face, okay? So you have to keep the muscles strong, and I do that by working out uh, with weights, resistance training, three times a week on alternate days, and then two days a week, I'm out cycling, or, you know, around the area. Not right now, because I don't have a cycle. But, um, so I do those two things, and so if you keep the body strong and you keep your balance sharp, which a bicycle definitely keeps your balance sharp, much sharper than just walking because you're balanced on those two little tires, you know. So yes, in response to the viewer who indicated that one fall can really mess up your life, you are exactly right and that's an excellent point. I totally overlooked it in the last video. I just didn't even think about it. But personally for me, uh, you know, I'm not telling anybody what to do because obviously we all do, you know, our own thing and make our own choices. But for me, I will take that chance. I run the best tires money can buy that basically they call them flat proof and they're, they're as close to being flat proof as possible. Um, now, can I stop a driver from running my bicycle, my recumbent bicycle off the road? No, but I, I couldn't stop a driver from running my recumbent tricycle off the road either, you know. Um, if, some, if a driver runs you off the road, you're, you're going you're gonna to crash. It doesn't matter if you're on a bike or a trike. So, um, personally for me, I want to keep the balance sharp. I just see way too many people I, that... Um, are falling and getting really messed up. They're getting messed up because their balance is is uh, not on point anymore, and they're they're not the muscles aren't strong. So when you have poor balance and you have weak muscles, when you start to fall, your muscles aren't strong enough to stop that momentum that you've already picked up from falling. If you have strong muscles uh, and you exercise your body. Um, when you start to fall, you can immediately put out a leg and stop yourself, okay? But a person who has weak muscles from inactivity and being sedentary for their whole life or many years, they're, they can't stop themselves. Um, my mother's legs and muscles and her body are so weak at this point that if she starts to fall, she can't stop herself. Once it starts, she just goes down. And so I know a lot, I've heard of and know a lot of people that have these balance issues based on uh, letting their balance go and letting their, their strength of their muscles go. Um, just in my own circle of uh, sphere of influence, uh, I know of these things. Uh, but I, how many people do I know of that have gotten their life messed up from riding a bicycle? Yeah, you know, I don't know anybody personally. I don't know anybody, but I know people personally that have died from uh, lack of uh, balance and lack of uh, muscle tone and strength. So it's, it's just a personal choice. There's no guarantees in this life. We're, none of us are getting out of it. Um, but I want to stay sharp and stay balanced my entire life and you know, obviously, that's that's one big reason why I've stopped riding trikes and I'm, I've got, I have uh, transitioned to bicycles. <clears throat> but another reason too is I rode motorcycles for years when I was younger, and I I like the feeling when touring on a motorcycle. You know, going through the curves, the, the leaning and the curves, and going down a hill. You know, and, and all like that. We well, don't get that on a trike. On a trike, there's no leaning, and actually. You have to slow way down for the for curves on a trike because <laughs> you can lift a, a wheel and actually flip a trike. We can't do that on a bike because you just lean into it. But so there's a fun factor too. But you know, the balance is a big big thing for me. And uh, uh, 
So even though this viewer's comment is extremely valid, excellent point, well taken, um, I'm still going to remain on track for me um, um, and, and, and stick with the uh, bicycles. And I, I thank people for uh, commenting on that. And uh, um, so everybody makes their own choices. Uh, but, uh, you, you know, if you, tricycle riders have to keep that balance sharp somehow. And you, it, it's not going to be kept sharp on a tricycle. So there's got to be something else in your life that you're supplementing that with to, to keep the balance sharp. But anyway, hey, thanks a lot. I suggest whether you're on a bicycle or a tricycle, run Schwalbe Marathon Plus, P-L-U-S, Schwalbe Marathon Plus tires. Don't get flats. If you don't like flats, ha, flats, flats don't make appointments. You'd be out in the middle of nowhere on some busy highway. I've been on some terrible roads on my tours down the coast, narrow little places. Where are you gonna change a flat? There's no place to even change a flat, you know? So, or in the middle of the night, or it's too cold to change a flat. To change a flat tire, you have to, you can't be wearing gloves. You have to be using your fingers and hands, so. Anyway, Shawley Marathon Plus, bicycle or tricycle. And by the way, I'm still, uh, just because I'm, uh, I, I stopped riding tricycles uh, not too long ago, I still am going to support uh, Trike Asylum. Anyway, folks, take it easy. See ya.